What's going on, people? Welcome to another vlog. Yes, the camera quality has improved. I'm filming on the new iPhone 14 Pro because it has filmic mode, so I can actually blur out the background here. Saturdays are usually way more chill for me. I do work six days a week, but on Saturdays, I allow myself to do more creative work, work more on music, start new ideas, record vocals, all that stuff. But let's get into this day. Pull up the calendar. Bam. Okay, so I think this is going to be a thing in the future vlogs because... I like taking you guys through a full day and not just having like um, highlight clips of my weeks or something. Um, that can also come in handy later when I'm touring or something. But for these type of vlogs, I think this works. So what are we doing today? We are filming a new vlog, obviously. This morning, I got a huge contract in that I need to read, which is like 15 pages of very formal wording. Um, it's a super huge sound design project that I can't really speak of because with contracts, if I were to share some of the details from the contract, essentially, I would be breaking the law. So I can't talk about that, but that's going to take a while. After that, I'm doing Element Learn, which essentially is me doing daily Q&A stories on the Element Instagram profile. Today, as you can see over here, I actually um, broke down how to do the not ready bass from the member collab that released last week. So if you want to learn how to do that bass, head over to Element Store, click the highlights and watch the story from today again. Yeah, so we got a very, very, very important thing in the calendar here. Arsenal, my team, I've been an Arsenal fan since like age six or something, are playing Tottenham, which is like the arc nemesis rival. Definitely watching that. And I also need to get a training in before 1.30. And to be honest, I woke up at 10 today because my girlfriend and I were watching Expanse last night, probably the best series I've ever seen. But enough of the rant. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to take care of later today, which essentially is all creative work. Beat needs vocals. If I get time, I got to check out Atoria Pigments and I have two tracks that I need to work on. So let's get this day started. Baby, I'm a son on the beat. Hit the gym real quick. All right, gym time. On the left here, you can see my workout. I'm doing a push workout with a lot of machines instead of compounds because this is like my hypertrophy bodybuilding type day. I work out Monday through Saturday each week and I do legs, pull, push, legs, pull, push. And here you see me doing some machine chest presses instead of the barbell bench press that I do on the other push day. Um, just because I feel my muscles more doing machines, to be honest, and it takes out the stability issue. Here you see me doing some very controlled and slow dips. You see me doing a lot of carries. There's so many people in the gym today that I couldn't really film a lot. Um, honestly, I feel super embarrassed filming in the gym. Um, but yeah, here you see me doing some overhead carries. These are super good for stability. And that's pretty much the workout of the day. And if you want to see the full workout, you can always go back to that first clip where I listed it. Now in Denmark, it always rains a lot outside. But it's kind of nice when you're inside. <laughs> here you see me um posing in front of the mirror i actually look like i lift for once because i gained a bunch of weight it's bulking season bro Just saw my team Arsenal win 3-1 against Tottenham, so I'm in a very, very good mood. It's time to make some music. First up on the agenda is I need to see if I can do some vocals on my beat number 10. Because I was going through my folder of beats that I'm sending out to artists to get featured vocals on yesterday, and this beat was just so good. And honestly, I haven't found an artist that wants to lay on this beat, so I'm trying to see if I can do some vocals on it myself. Um, because as a lot of you guys will know, I do my own vocals on almost all of my own tracks. Whenever there isn't a feature on, it's my vocals. The thing I'm usually doing with these vocals are just freestyling a bunch of different top line melody ideas 
with nonsense of words and just trying out my different vocal ranges and seeing if I can nail anything that fits the beat. So let's dive into it. Let's get recording. Uh. New flow, let's try it out. Uh. I've been on my dip. Uh. I've been dancing on the bed. We be throwing on the chairs. Nope. Uh. I've been doing me since I'm young. I've been doing it, doing it, I've been doing it. I've been working on it since the morning. I've been doing me since the morning. Alright, so I just went through all the vocals and what's nice about doing vocals like this is that I now have these nine takes that I could browse through and essentially just select the lines from some of them that I like and combine them into one take. And I honestly didn't get as close as I wanted to a final melody, but I got kind of the flow down. I'm not a great singer. This is heavily auto-tuned and just an idea, a lot of pitchiness, um, but that's the essential of how I do vocals. Now, what I ended up with is this, that I'm gonna listen to with fresh ears next time I'm in the studio and see if the melody sticks. So, it sounds like this. I've been doing me since I've been feeling numb. I've been whipping on this, I've been doing it all. We've been doing work since I've been doing it all. We've been got it, yeah, we've been got it. Uh. I've been working, I've been killing on the low. I've been dancing on the living on the phone. Even though I have my vocals on like a thousands of tracks, um, I'm still super insecure about my own vocals. I don't think I will ever get over this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this idea for now um, and just listen to it with fresh ears in a couple of hours or next time I'm in the studio and see if this idea sticks with me. And that's essentially how I do my top lines. What's going on guys? Welcome to Cooking with FM. Now it is evening time. I am in the kitchen and I'm about to cook a Mexican rice bowl. I'm trying to save money right now, so I'm trying to make it cheap. So it's like two to three dollars ish to make the entire bowl. Let's get it started. So I usually do these rice bowls for dinner, super easy to make, takes like 20 minutes. I can vary these bowls in an endless amount of ways. So I can do like Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, different kinds of Asian bowls. I usually do Vietnamese bowls with pickled daikon and carrot, Indian bowl with like tandoori style chicken, a lot of possibilities on this, super easy. In these times, I'm really trying to watch what I spend on food. Um, so yeah, that's a typical dinner for me. But let's talk about this track that I'm working on. I just spent the entire afternoon trying to write a hook. And to be honest, I didn't get anywhere. Like I wrote two lines on a hook and I spent like three hours just like walking, writing, walking, writing, and nothing really happened. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back in the studio, give it one last shot. And if I don't get anywhere, I'm gonna call it a night and just take the night off, go for a walk. But yeah, I'm about to eat this food and then I'm heading back to the studio. Sounds awful, dog. I'm a I'm a live like this, like the night will never. I'm a live like this, like the. Uh, I'm a live like this, like the night will never end. When I wake up, I'ma do it all. 
I've just spent a bunch of hours working on this idea. Now I'm the type of perfectionist producer that when I start an idea and I spend hours struggling on it, I either do everything I can to finish it and give it my all and spend the entire day doing it like I just did, or I give myself a bunch of shit and feel really bad about not being able to finish it and not being able to write something that fits the track. And um, honestly, I think I got it to a pretty cool place. Eventually, I ended up not doing any of the other things I was supposed to do today. I don't do anything else than produce on Saturday, so we're all good. But I honestly think I got it to a pretty cool place. I wrote a super cool hook, like you just saw in some of those clips. And I just recorded a bunch of doubles, a bunch of shout vocals, just to make it sound bigger. Um, and essentially, that's how I do demos. And this was a big struggle. I wanted it to have that like commercial feel in the hook something a lot of people can relate to so like mainstream listeners would be able to listen to the song as well the verse is still the demo take that you heard earlier so no words just melodies but the hook is fully written a bunch of doubles bunch of harmonies listen this is what we got this is what we got I really feel good about this demo, but obviously when you've been struggling with something like I just did the entire day and finally nailed it, it feels like you just made the best song of your career always, even though you didn't. But yeah, that will also conclude the vlog for today. But I'm really, really curious, guys. What do you want to see in these vlogs? Right now, I'm just taking you guys through my day, being pretty honest about what I got to do, what I didn't got to do, and essentially just showing you my different kind of days that I have in a week. Uh, but what would you like to see? I'm really curious. More training, more food, less training, less food, more just production straight up. Um, but I know for sure that I'm going to keep these vlogs personal. I want it to be a reflection of my lifestyle, but also involving production elements because I really got tired of just doing like straight production videos because I know that I could get a lot more views if I just did making a song from a trash can meme type videos like a lot of youtuber producers do i'm not trying to compete in that area i really just want to reflect my lifestyle my productions while giving you guys some tips showing you guys some cool production techniques as well what do you guys want to see in these vlogs because they will keep on going if you keep hitting that like button see you in the next one peace baby i'm a son on the beat